What's up YouTube? This is Demkeys back again with another Unity tutorial and today you're going to learn how to add collectible items to your games. These items could be anything like uh, power-ups for example, a health power-up or it could be an item that the player has to collect and keep with him or it could be ammo or anything. You get the point. Uh, now for the purpose of, well uh, this technique can be used in both uh, 2D projects and 3D projects with minor changes but for the purpose of this tutorial I'm gonna use it on a 2D project so what we have here is an empty scene I'm gonna add first of all I'm gonna add a quad remove the mesh collider from it and add a box collider instead next I'm gonna make two duplicates of the squad. I'll name the first one player. The second one, uh, I don't know, health. And the third one, ground. Now we can leave player and health at the same size, but we need to resize ground. Just make it a little flat and a little long this is what our uh, player is going to walk on then just place the health and player objects in the right place and next we need to add a material to our health object so let's just call this health underscore mat and no need to change any of the settings except for main color set this to whatever you want it should be uh, basically the point is to have something that's not this color so we can distinguish the health object from the player object once you're done attach the material to the health object next you need to add a rigid body 2d component to our player object and now real quick we're gonna write a move script for our player all right now since this is a tutorial on collectible items and not on scripting I'm not gonna explain any of the script so just copy whatever I'm Alright, so this script is going to give the user the ability to move the player left and right and also to make the player jump. Now back to Unity. Let's set the speed for the speed and jump force for our player. The speed can be 30 and jump force say 300. Let's run the game and see if this works. In fact, uh, wait, before that, drag your game tab and bring it here so that we can so that we can see everything in the scene view. Now hit play and our player is able to jump and move around. Okay, maybe I should change this color, make it a little light. Okay. All right, the next thing we need to do is click on the health object and see where it says box collider 2D, you'll see an option saying is trigger. 
this basically decides whether our uh, whether this collider is going to be used as a collider or as a trigger if if you set it to is trigger collision is not going to take place uh, instead you can use this to trigger certain other actions and that's what we're going to do so click add component new script and call this health script you can call it whatever you want and then open this up in mono develop all right now create a function called on trigger enter 2d and give it a parameter collider 2d I've uh, done a video previously on uh, colliders and triggers so I'm gonna provide that link in the description and also on the screen so you can check that out if you don't know how colliders and triggers work all right so if call dot game object dot tag is equal to player then debug dot log health increased now click on our player object and set its tag to player now let's oh wait before that after the message has been displayed we need to destroy this game object because the item has been collected so to to simulate that we need to destroy the object now before we run the game make sure you have your uh, console tab open somewhere so you can see the message being displayed now let's run the game and as you can see as soon as we hit that object it gets destroyed and well first the uh, first the message is displayed and then the object gets destroyed and yeah we have pretty much collected health we can have multiple objects and our player will be able to collect all of them So this is one method of adding collectible items to your games. I hope this tutorial was helpful. Do check out these other videos as well. The video on the top left teaches you how to use the line renderer. The video on the top right teaches you how to use lens flares. And on the bottom left is a playlist for the Unity 4.6 UI Tools series. I'm also accepting donations. So if you would like to help me out, you can send your donations to my PayPal email address, which is mentioned on the screen and in the description down below. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Leave your comments below and I'll see you guys next time. This is what they say. Started out with nothing, then I turned myself to something. Everybody wanna claim a nigga when they hear you buzzing. Don't nobody wanna claim you when they hear you bugging. Not known to tell stories, not known for fronting.